everyone welcome back to my channel I'm Jude and I'm so delighted that you are here today if you are new I would love it if you would subscribe and join this growing community so today on drop of divine mercy I will be looking at the heading for October 22nd clothe us in courage and I'm using our companion book in the series Jesus speaks to Faustina and you a wonderful book published by Sophia Institute Press that I highly recommend you purchasing so you can follow along. I'll have the link below to where you can purchase that. So for today, the Diary of St. Faustina 1790 says, Do not fear struggle. Courage itself intimidates temptations and they dare not attack us. In our reflection today, temptation assails us and we experience inner struggles. We're weak and prone to consent to temptations daily. Calling upon Jesus, we find grace to wrestle with temptation courageously. Scripture encourages us, be strong and of good courage. Be not frightened, neither be dismayed, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. That's Joshua 1, 9. When we succumb to temptation, we feed a beast that intimidates us even more the next time the temptation returns. On the other hand, the more we starve our temptations, the more power we gain over them. With Christ-like courage, we'll be victorious in the battle against temptation. St. Faustina explains, how often you have poured into my soul courage and perseverance to go forward. It is you yourself who removed obstacles from my road, intervening directly in the actions of people. That's from the diary of St. Faustina, 1489. On our own, we're weak and helpless to defeat our temptations. But when Jesus feeds us in the Holy Eucharist, we're clothed in courage. Our prayer, Lord, when fear makes our knees tremble, wrap us in a love stronger than death. Make us brave and clothe us in courage. Amen. Jesus, have mercy on us and on the whole world. So beautiful to think about that as I sip my cozy cup of hot cocoa. The winds are turning very fall-like temperatures here. And as I'm comforted with this nice hot cup of cocoa, I'm thinking about the comfort that I feel when I go to Mass. And of course, this passage, this line in our reflection, but when Jesus feeds us in the Holy Eucharist, we're clothed in courage. So we need to meditate on that. We need to think about where we were a year ago or a year and a half ago when the pandemic first hit and everything was closed. We couldn't go to our churches and we couldn't receive the Holy Eucharist. So we should feel so ready and so energetic to go to mass to receive in that state of grace to make a good confession and then go and also spread that wonderful joy that we feel at mass how about seeking out someone who maybe hasn't been to mass in a while or maybe is not able to go maybe they can't find transportation or maybe they're elderly and they don't drive, it's just seeking out someone else and inviting them to come to Mass with you. Because we don't want to keep this joy to ourselves. We want to be able to spread that good news to whomever we can. That's our mission. We're apostles by our baptism. So I invite you now to go to the link below to pray the Divine Mercy Chaplet with me. And remember to put your prayer intentions in the comments. And I will remember you in prayer. 
please remember me. God bless.